at that grime is taking off my face. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica the Dancing Avon Lady. Today we are testing out the very new Isanox Gel to Oil Cleansers. <laughs> This product here I actually received as a PR gifted product from the Avon Content Creators Program and I'm really excited because we were supposed to receive this with our first shipment, however there was a little bit of a mix up and so they generously sent it with our second shipment so thank you Avon for that. But before we get going, this is a disclaimer that this is a PR gifted products but all the opinions are my own. I am excited about this product because I have been hearing a lot of really great things about gel to oil cleansers, how it really helps to like dissolve makeup and get rid of impurities and all that jazz. And so I have a full face of makeup on today. I have foundation, I have powder, I have eyeshadow, mascara, blah, 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 blah. I got the works going on today, guys. And so I want to see how well it's going to dissolve and take off this layer on my face. So that would be very exciting. If you are curious though, this is the brand new eyeshadow quad that I have on my eyes in Mistress. And I also tried out the FMG gel liner in Tornado. Love the effects. But the most important thing is I do have waterproof mascara on. The waterproof mascara that I have on is the Love at First Lash waterproof mascara. And it's a fantastic mascara, but it's a bit of a chore to get off. So I usually have to use this beautiful product here, which is the Face Shop Waterproof Lip and Eye Makeup Remover. This takes it off really, really well. However, what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to do one eye taking it off first and the other I'm going to leave and see how well this beauty works. So I have used some of the Isanox products before. I actually used the entire collection back, I think it was like in the summer of last year of 2020, where I tested out the eye serum, the face serum, the the night cream and the day cream and I have all of my thoughts on that up here for you. I do use the Isanox micro needling polisher. Love that product. Love, 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 love it. And so I'm excited to see whether or not I'm going to love this cleanser just as much. I do have some information here about the product itself. The Isonox Anu LX Ultimate Rejuvenate Gel to Oil Cleanser is supposed to help improve your skin's texture and tone while you cleanse. It is a premium hydrating facial cleanser that gently dissolves makeup and pollutants and also brings valuable anti-aging benefits to your skin. Very nice. It has a blend of oils uh, to help clean your skin very deeply and it helps to leave your skin feeling soft, smooth, and free of impurities. And it also states that uh, it has a unique texture that changed from, get this, gel to oil to milk. That is what I was like, oh, that's so cool. Gel to oil to milk. Huh. It's hypoallergenic and also dermatology tested. The cream ingredients are peony extracts, which has antioxidant benefits. If you want to learn more about that, click this video here where I talk a lot about it. And trust me, guys, it's a, it's, I think it's like a half an hour long video, so be warned. The other key ingredient is panel, which helps to get your skin to look healthy and also to help become firmer, which as I go older, I know I need more of that. Helps to brighten dull skin, helps to restore your skin cells to their youthful looking state. That sounds lovely. It also helps to support the production of two distinctive structural proteins, collagen and single can. Syndican, Syndican, I think that's how you pronounce it. And then it also helps to reduce the look of age spots associated with the excess production of melanin. So maybe freckles? Oh no, this one's new. If you guys have noticed my last few videos over the past few months, that guy is new. And it doesn't look like it's going anywhere soon, so. <laughs> eh. So to use this, and this is the other cool thing, is that you actually massage this onto, get this, dry skin. So you massage onto dry skin, um, it starts off as a gel, you massage it to becomes an oil, and then from there what you do is you add water, and I guess it emulsifies and becomes almost like a milky texture, and that's those steps all together is supposed to help get rid of all of those impurities, which is super duper exciting. And then of course you rinse off and you do your daily skincare routine. So if you're looking for a cleanser that helps to get rid of makeup and pollutants on your skin, plus has anti-aging benefits with the power of plant extracts, this will be great for you. And this is also apparently really good for people with dry skin because it'll also bring additional hydration. I'm hoping that doesn't cause more breakouts. Another disclaimer is that I'm halfway into my trial for the Belief Serum, the Niacinamide 
amino acid 10% one. So I haven't really gotten any new breakouts. So if I do get breakouts, then we'll have to blame it on this. So hopefully not. Now, I'm going to show you the amount of makeup on my face. Waterproof makeup. Blah, 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 blah. I have nothing on my brows. As I said, I am going to use this. So, you, oops, I shook it first. But you can kind of see, you see how it's kind of separated? So if you're going to use this, you want to shake this baby up first. Shaky, 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 shaky. Because it has a blend, you need to move it together. So I am using a reusable makeup pad. I love using them because they're better for the environment. I Avon's coming out with some, the bamboo fiber ones, and it's a pack of seven, and I can't wait to get my hands on some of those. And I'm only going to do one eye because, again, I want to see what the difference is. So all you do is you pour it onto your makeup removing pad. Now these pads I'm only so-so with. I don't love them. I thought I would love them a lot more. This is this one I got from Amazon because it's it's kind of rough, the texture. So I, I don't love, love it. But anyways, here we go. So here's a makeup. I'm going to put it on my eye. And this is how I normally take it off. So I put it on my eye and I let it rest. All right, so after about 10 to 15 seconds, I then pat and gently wipe off. Look at all that. It's a lot, but it does its job. The Love at First Lash stays on so well. Like, it doesn't flake off at all for an entire day. All right, so this eye is now clean. Do I look a little mismatched? A little bit. All right, let's go to my bathroom, and let's wash off the rest of my face. That sounds very morbid. Which one will do better? What do you think? This or this plus this to get everything off. It's kind of like a two in one video. This is not the prettiest space of my house. Not yet. Eventually we're going to redo all of this and I'll be very excited. Now the other thing to note about this product, it is free from mineral oils, parabens, sulfates, and phthalates. So if that's important to you, which it should be, this is all free from all that, that stuff. So, and then also there's a warning here that it's for external use only. So don't use this to wash your inner ears. Yes. That's a bit of a thank you, Avon. I'm really excited for this because... I was a little bit disappointed when it didn't come in, but here we go. Oh, it's sealed on the inside. Let's do a sniff test. Oh, interesting. Let's look at the texture here first. When you shake it, you can hear a glug. So it has a very interesting texture, just even from the bottle. But when I smell it, it actually, I like this scent, the scent of this better than I did the serums and the creams, because I found those a little bit strong. Uh, this one is... I actually find very delicately scented and it smells a little bit fresher, if that makes sense. Like it's just a little bit lighter, which is really nice. Here it is on my hand first. Oh, interesting. Oh, it's kind of thick at first. And then I think your body heat kind of melts it. All right, I'm just gonna do this on my face now. You ready guys? You ready? You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready for this. So here we go. We're gonna use, let's say that much. Like, there's definitely a scent to it, but it's not overwhelming. It's not overpowering. Ooh, I've never used an oil cleanser on my face. The only thing I've ever used that oily on my face is coconut oil before. That made me break out. And then I also used the um, hemp seed oil as a finishing oil. Interesting. I hope to God this doesn't cause pimples. We'll find out in a couple days. It goes on... It doesn't feel cool. It's actually kind of warm. And as I put it on, it feels silkier and silkier, which is really interesting. Uh-huh. Yeah, I really like the scent of this, actually. Now for this part. I almost feel like I'm doing a facial instead. Oh, look, you can tell already, it got rid of all of the gel liner and the um, eyeshadow right away. But I can still feel some mascara on it, so we'll find out after we milk it. Okay, now it has become a light oil. Is it exfoliating or is that just crumbs on my face? I don't know what that is. I think it's like, honestly, I think part of it is, it's my body heat that's melting it, if you will. No, to make it milky. Oh! 
You didn't add too much water. I'm really liking the scent of this, guys. I don't know how milky it got. A little bit, like very, very little. Ooh, yuck, look at, oh my gosh, that's so gross. Do you see that? Oh, that's so disgusting. Ew, look at that grime is taking off my face. Oh my God. I've never seen it like that before. What? That's so disgustingly cool. <laughs> I'm gonna rinse. I'm gonna pack right. Oh, oh. Okay, this is the side I use with makeup remover. And this is the side that I did not use makeup remover. I say it got the job done. There's like a little bit left. But overall, wow, I got the job done. <sighs> it gets makeup off better than Rice Water Bright. Yeah, it takes it off better than Rice Water Bright, which is a face wash I really, really love, guys. I really love that face wash and the jelly cleanser. It got off the waterproof mascara better than any other cleanser I've used without a makeup remover. Okay. So my face feels nice and soft. It doesn't feel... Parched, but did you see that grime? That was so gross and fascinating at the same time. Ugh. I'm impressed. All right, now to finish off my face. First off, I use a toner and then followed by the ampule. Would it be crazy if I said that my skin actually feels tighter right now? Not parched? I don't know. Maybe it could, that could just be my head. There's no way that it works so fast. My skin looks good. It looks clean, super clean. This is what I've been trying for the last week. Update video coming soon. Followed by my belief eye balm. Nighttime, so I use been using the Farm RX Super Greens Multivitamin Moisture Cream. This stuff feels so good, especially with the Picuccio Serum. But it's been feeling pretty fantastic even without it. We never waste, so we always put the extra on the back of our hands. And then we roll. And I am done. Oh my gosh. I have to say, like, my skin feels super duper duper clean. Wow. I was not expecting to like this as much as I do. I was very excited to try it because I really wanted to see, oh, put goes on your skin dry? Interesting. And it goes from gel to oil, which it did to milk. Now, the milkiness, I didn't really notice that much. Maybe I didn't emulsify it enough or I overdid it with the massaging with the gel. Who knows? Um, or maybe I put on too much water. Yeah. To, to, and I just kind of like, inherently rinsed it off partially instead of actually emulsifying it. My skin didn't feel parched after using it. There was no stinging at all. It took off the Love at First Lash waterproof mascara really easily. I am really surprised by that, like super surprised because honestly, nothing has been able to take it off as well besides this. So oh, if it could save me a step, love that much more time efficient, which is awesome. The scent of it, I thought that I wouldn't like it as much as I as I do. Uh, I thought that it would be, again, really strong and a little bit overpowering, but oh my gosh, it smells really nice. I feel it actually has a slightly different scent than the rest of the Isonox line. It, it smells a little bit, A, less intense, and B, it also smells a little bit fresher, kind of like they put in a little bit more, there was less flowers around and more just open space if that makes sense mind you there's been people who said that the isanox the regular serum and everything have a very delicate light scent to them i think it's just i have i got a weird nose i just have to admit i have a weird nose so that being all said guys i would definitely recommend this i i really really like it i, w I wouldn't use this day and night Personally, the, during the daytime, I'm still going to keep using the um, Dr. Belmere Foaming Face Wash for my pimples because that has been working really well for me. But I am definitely going to integrate this into my skincare routine because I really did enjoy it. If I'm doing a full face makeup, I'll use this. But will I, I probably won't use this every single day just because of the oil. I'm a little bit worried 
if, if it will cause a reaction. But if I have a full face makeup, definitely. Did you see that rhyme? Oh my god, that was so gross. Very, very fascinatingly gross. I'm weird. I'm the type of person that likes to watch Dr. Pimple Popper. Like, th that's the type of person I am. So, <laughs> little tidbit that you didn't know. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching and joining me tonight. If you're interested in learning more about this Isanox Gel to Oil Cleanser, make sure you do go to the description box below, click that link, and then you can check out all the great information on it from our website. Plus, you can just get it delivered to your door. Now, while you're there, jump over to that Join Avon button. Have you ever considered starting up your own online Avon business so that you too can also do something like this? Try out products, give your honest opinion about it, and then when customers buy from your online store, Avon will put a direct deposit into your bank account once every two weeks for the commissions earned from those sales. How cool is that? If you have any questions before you get started, make sure you do reach out to me. I am on Instagram, I'm Facebook, or you can just send me a message here and we'll figure out a way to connect. Guys, I'm always here to help. I'm always here to answer your questions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you do show me some love and give me a big fat thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, guys, make sure you do click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification. I have new videos out every single week and you never want to miss one of those. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time.